Chicken Igado or the Ilokano Sinanglao dish. This is my California version of Igado or Sinanglao because of the following reasons. The first one, we removed all the ingredients of internal organs like kidney, heart, and liver for reasons that it is not readily available in our geographic market. Additionally, internal organs are known to cause the flare-up of gout because of its high content of uric crystals or better known as uric acid. Besides, no one in my household like internal organs anyways. The second one is that this video is a recipe demonstration limited only to four servings. Most of the videos I've watched caters to a family of eight or more. So, for the folks who only have two or four family members in a household, this video would be perfect. Let's get started. First, you will need one pound of pork cut into strips, one cup of vinegar, the sugar cane vinegar is the authentic ingredient, but you can also use any type. I am using the white cane sugar vinegar here. One cup of soy sauce and 12 cloves of garlic crushed. What you need to do is to combine the vinegar, soy sauce and garlic in a bowl. Mix it all up together, then add your strips of pork to marinate in this concoction for about half an hour to an hour. Meanwhile, let's prepare your other ingredients. First up, six cloves of garlic crushed, one knuckle of ginger sliced thin, two medium onion chopped, one red bell pepper and one green bell pepper julienne half a cup of green peas. You can use the frozen version. I am using the Philippine canned peas here. Hummus powder or the garbanzo beans if you have one available. The original is asking for the whole garbanzo beans and also soda crackers. But for now, for myself, we're only using the hummus powder. Your cooking oil. Of course, do not forget your salt and pepper. I'm using the Hawaiian sea salt, but you can use the iodized or regular salt. If you have the fish sauce or patisse, then you can use that as well. It's time for us to cook. After marinating the pork, Heat up your wok or pan in high heat. Add your cooking oil. I am using the extra virgin olive oil here. Next, drop your ginger into the wok or pan. I use ginger for aromatic purposes and also to add its medicinal element into my dish. I can choose to cut this into strips, but I plan to remove it before serving. Now put your ginger aside and saute your garlic into the pan. Make sure it does not burn or it will end up tasting bitter. When the garlic starts to brown, you can add your onion into the pan and saute it together with your ginger and garlic. Keep mixing it together until your onion becomes translucent or leave it until it sweats. Now it's time to add your bay leaves and your red and green bell peppers. After 
after simmering for a few minutes, you can now add your green peas. After 60 seconds, you may now add your pork meat and the marinating liquid with garlic. This is now the time that you can add the hummus powder, if not the whole garbanzo beans if you have it available. Add your salt and pepper according to your taste. Do not mix. Just cover your wok or pan and let it simmer for 5 minutes in medium heat so the vinegar will penetrate into the meat and the whole ingredients. After 5 minutes, uncover your pan then mix all. Your hummus powder will help thicken your sauce. The original recipe calls for soda cracker to help thicken the sauce, but the hummus powder will do the trick for me. After mixing all the ingredients, you may now add your water. I added one cup because, first of all, I like mine soupy, and I will simmer this for about 30 minutes more. I chose to add the red and green bell peppers now because I wanted the flavor to be infused into the sauce and the meat. At this point, I reduced the heat to medium-low. Fifteen minutes into simmering, I removed all the ginger out of the pan because we will not be eating it. At this point, the ginger's essence have already permeated into the whole dish. Keep simmering for additional 15 minutes more before serving. The Igado or Sinanglao California version is now ready to be served. Happy eating!